so I always enjoy doing little garden experiments just to see if I can grow plants under different conditions or maybe germinate seeds under different conditions. And I love this little quote here. It says, there are no gardening mistakes, only experiments. And I live by that. So today I wanna to share with you my experience growing pole beans in containers. So the first thing I had to do was figure out a way to trellis my beans if I'm growing them in containers. So I remembered I had this little greenhouse. Unfortunately, the cover on this greenhouse fell apart probably within about six months of owning it. The little seams on there were cloth and they seemed to dry rot on me. They turned almost to powder, so when a strong wind hit, it just ripped it to shreds. Um, however, the frame is fine. I did enjoy using it for the short time that I had it. it. Took me a couple of hours to put it together. So here it is, and I am growing four containers on each side of the frame. And I like to put my containers in wash bins, especially you know during the hot summer, uh, the soil can wick up water that might collect down there in the wash bins. However, I also try to keep them empty. I don't want the plants to just sit there and water. They could also experience root rot if I did that. So I do have to monitor the amount of water that's in the bottom of the bins. So I filled the p containers with potting mix that I make myself and I moistened the soil real well. Then I soaked my green bean seeds and I put about six per container. I planted them about um, half an inch deep. Now I also needed a way for the pole beans to hold on to the frame. And I have used these little nylon trellises before and I got this on Amazon. You can also get the greenhouse on Amazon as well. Um, this little trellis works great. It fit on the frame perfectly. So I was real happy about that. I didn't have to cut it or alter it in any way. And I also am going to use twist ties uh, to help hold the um, little nylon trellis to the frame. So these come pretty tangled up at first, so I had to spend a few minutes just to get that laid out and nice and flat and untangled. And then with a little bit of help from my husband, we took it up and over the frame. So I started in the middle and secured the trellis to the frame with the little twist ties, making sure to pull it tight. And I also made sure to secure it to the bottom. And there you go, that's how it looked. It was real tight and it fit perfectly. Now we started to get a lot of rain. As a matter of fact, um, last year when I recorded this footage, it just seemed to rain all the time. We had so much rain, but that was just enough to get the beans up and growing. And in the middle of the greenhouse, you can kind of see it there. Um, I also planted cucumbers. I had some that were started before the beans and I thought well I'll give them a little spot there where they can climb up the trellis too and that's how I grow cucumbers in containers. I put two seeds per container for cucumbers. Normally I just let them grow on the driveway. I have a video on that um, but this time I thought I would trellis them. So I started um, harvesting cucumbers long before my beans were ready so that was a pleasant surprise. Uh, just that one little container gave me so many cucumbers. So the beans started to grow up, the little trellis there, and they were holding on and wrapping around the frame. And I did help them along a little bit and always, you know, just check on your beans every couple of days and help them go up their little trellis so they'll have something to grab on. And the beans were looking real healthy. After a few more weeks, they were just climbing up and meanwhile I was harvesting a lot of cucumbers. And these are just the English cucumbers. I love these cucumbers for salads, so good. Cucumbers require a lot of water so I made sure to keep their little wash bin with some water in it so that really helps your cucumbers produce. And the beans continued to climb up and I continued again to harvest the cucumbers. 
once the cucumber plants start to become stressed, the fruit will become a little bit deformed and there won't be real nice and straight. So finally, the beans were going up and almost over the greenhouse frame. And remember, I just try to keep the bins emptied out. I did start to notice that the bottom of the vines started to have yellowing leaves and this was a sign of some kind of nutrition deficiency. So I just pulled the yellow leaves and some more green ones grew back but I think that was because um, we had so much rain that a lot of the nutrients just leached right out of the containers so I had to step up my feeding on them. I was feeding them about once a week. I stepped that up to about two times a week. So about mid-August I started to see some blooms and shortly after that you know you will see little tiny green beans. I had to make sure that the vines were not growing straight up in the air. I wanted to make sure they're growing over the top of the greenhouse frame so I had to kind of keep my eye on that. That was something I was watching. Um, I also noticed that I was starting to have some insect damage. I could not identify the insect that did this damage. Something was just chomping away on the outside of the leaves. I also had some Mexican bean beetle damage, which I tend to get that every year. They look like ladybugs and the leaves were just covered up with the larva, so I was just picking those off. And by August 21, this is when I started to see the little baby green beans. And then just about a week later, it was time to harvest the beans. So they grow real fast once you start seeing those blooms. Shortly after that, make sure you're not going on vacation because you'll miss your harvest time when you're growing pole beans. So I was able to harvest many, many times a lot of green beans. They were my favorite. Um, I don't know that I would recommend doing this again. I think that, um, I mean, I do love the greasy beans. However, I think that just growing bush beans in containers would be a little bit easier, a little bit less expensive. Uh, but if you really want to grow pole beans, um, once they get started, they will produce for you for quite a while. So that's the advantage of growing pole beans over bush beans. So I hope that you can give it a try if it's something you've thought about. And certainly remember, you can always grow cucumbers this way too. I hope you learned something along with me, and thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a beautiful day.